Hello beauties, my name is Eva and today I'm going to test Nabla Cutie Palette Nude One. So this will be my first impression, also review, I'm going to show you all swatches and some close-ups. If you're looking for review of Cutie Palette but Coral One, it's in my previous video and today let's go with Nude One. I'm going to do just smoky eye because this is my favorite kind of makeup. So now I'm going to show you some close-ups and swatches and then we're going to do makeup using all these six shades. In the first row we have Moonlight, cream with delicate peach and pink duochrome shimmers, satin, seducer, mauve with pink and gold reflects, metal foil, and latex nude medium light to pink latex matte. In the second row we have No Doubts, milk chocolate, that's latex matte formula, glorious, light neutral golden bronze, metal foil, and plastic black latex matte. So this palette has three shades with latex matte formula. This one, this one and this one. So all mattes are this latex matte formula. And although first time this formula appeared in this palette, I first met it in this palette, these shades. By the way, swatches, first impression, review and all what you need about this palette is in this video right here. So yes, I'm very excited about this new formula because it's, like I mentioned in my video with Dreamy 2 palette, it's like matte but wet. I'm going to zoom you in and let's just start. I'm starting as always with matte base shade under my brow. I want to use all six shades. I'm going to start with No Doubts and I'm applying it on my outer corner and into my crease. And a little bit above it. That's nice, this shade already blends by itself. And maybe you can tell it already that it's a little bit shining, but it's not satin. It's truly latex matte. It looks like wet, I would say. And it's very, um, very nice to work with. It's a little bit lighter than in pan, but that's okay, I can build it up. I would say this, this, this latex matte formula is a little bit shining, looks like matte but wet, but it works like, like shimmers, it looks like matte, it blends like matte, but in the same time it applies and it's, it acts like shimmer shades, it's very creamy, soft, it's pleasure to work with this formula. Now I'm taking shade Latex Nude. I want to blend this edge with this shade. That's pretty. I am not fan of nudes. I think nudes are boring, but I think I will change my mind. I have no questions, it's just beautiful. Now I'm taking Moonlight. I will check this eyeshadow on my lower arm. Okay, right away I can tell that this won't be my favorite shade, but it's really nice. It's not super shimmery, it's because it's satin, but it's shimmery enough to be as your everyday shimmer. Now I'm taking Seducer, 
I can't wait to use this shade. Hey, it's nice. Looks like wet. Now I'm taking Glorious. And I'm applying it in my inner corner. Okay, it's nice. It's very everyday palette, especially for this season right now. I bet these eyeshadows are more blinding on wet base, but I wanted to test them just like so. The last shade I haven't used yet is black, so I'm taking shade plastic. I am afraid already because these latex shades are so pigmented. Yeah, they are. These latex shades really work in a very weird way, but in the same time they are so easy to blend. Doesn't look that bad, does it? Now I'm going to add Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in shade Ozone. I'm going to add some lashes, apply pencil on my waterline. Maybe I will blend this or that in this eye look more and I'll be right back. I applied more of these two shades and as you can see they are blinding and very very pretty i did it without any glitter glue wet base or anything they just needed more love and i had to massage them into my eyelid and they are okay so that's nice i like when shimmers metal foils and all that stuff just work on my eyelid without any necessary glitter glue, glitter primer, primers and all that stuff. So now I will add the skin glazing in shade Ozone as my highlighter. This eye makeup maybe isn't my... Mm, the best one, but this is my second time I work with this latex matte formula. First time it was with Dreamy 2 palette, but uh, it was only two shades and in that palette there are just regular mattes and here all mattes are only this latex matte formula. So that was new for me. I don't think this look is bad or looks uh, not nice, it's very pretty, but I just know it's not my the best. But this is, as I mentioned, this is new formula, so I also need to learn how to use it. And I think that I know how to make these eyeshadows work and I think I know what I am doing, but I need to master it, like everything else. I mean, of course, if you don't like to check new stuff and to learn new techniques you don't need this palette and of course it's easier to just take regular matte shades but i bet you weren't the master when you first used for example glitter so this is me learning new things and to be honest i am fascinating with this formula it's so weird but it's in the same time it's so good okay let's make it christmas Glimmer Light palette and I'm going to use this shade with my finger as my blush. I think I'm starting to like blushes. That's something new. I mean, I have some blushes, but I was never a fan. Maybe I will change that. Now to make it more Christmas. Hmm. Bordeaux metallic or red? Yeah, metallic Bordeaux.
final thoughts about Cutie Palette, nude one. I think it's very nice everyday palette, very cute, very little, small, tiny, it's just cute. Um, I really need to work with this latex matte formula more. This formula fascinates me and I really want to just master the skill to use them because they look amazing and they are very weird, but in the same time they are very nice to work with. I don't know how to describe it. Both palettes are very nice. This one is definitely warm tone, coral one, warm, warm, warm. This one is more neutral, but as you can tell, with this lipstick my makeup looks more cool toned even. So this is, some shades are total neutral ones, but some shades, like for example even this pink, it's of course pinks are cool toned shades, so this is like neutral cool toned palette. I like to look at these palettes as single ones. Coral, nude, nude, coral, but as one palette. One palette where you have neutrals, cool tones and warm tones. So, nice, cute. I like them. I'm very happy that I finally bought them. <laughs> I promised one of you that I will play with Jeffree Star, especially with Blue Blood or with Blood Sugar. So, I think you already know what is going to be in my next video. <laughs> and for now that's all. As always, I love you very very much and I see you soon. Bye.